So now we have eggs. Um, I think the next thing to do is have eggs pop out of the player when the player gets hit. Now that's going to bring us to an interesting look at the inheritance versus component models. Um, and we'll see some real pros and cons there. In the original code, of course, I had just a straight inheritance model for everything. Everything inherited from my own base class, game object. And game object just had hit points on it. For this port, I have created a component called hit points that is intended to separate that and manage the, the hitting and the hit point counting and then the eventual destruction of the object. However, we've already seen that eggs behave differently in response to getting hit than other things did. And now we're about to implement um, getting hit for, let's say, enemies and players. We've got, we've got something <clears throat> going on with enemies for these uh, as is, but it's not really correct. Um, so let's, uh, let's see what we can do to try to come up with something that doesn't boil down to simply having to make a specific subclass of this for every single type of object that we have. Although I do fear that may be where we're going to go. So let's start with um, when I shoot an enemy. Right now I just have it rigged up to spawn an egg right there. Um, but that's, that's not really generic. Um, I think instead we'll track the hit points with this and then the explode function is where we'll do something. Um, first of all, objects, uh, I'm extensively using object pools here and so destroying a game object is not always what I want to do. It's sometimes what I want to do, um, but often not. So let's put this, let's put that object pools straight in here. Um, pooled object and pooled equals get component pooled object. Let's see if there is a pooled object on here. And if there is, if then I'm going to free the pooled object. If not, then I will destroy the object. Um, and I, I, before I destroy the object, I think I want to just send a message to the object to tell it to explode so that I can avoid having this like very tightly coupled behaviors. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use Unity's send message function. Um, do I need a value? I don't think I need to send any value to that. So we'll just, oh, wait, comma, uh, not the one with option, send message options don't require. OK, so I'm going to send a message back up to my object that will tell the object that it has exploded. That will let me go to the enemy bird, enemy bird, and I'll just say down here, uh, is that what I called it, on explode? Yes. On explode will do the explosion, and that's going to pop an egg out. So that was what, egg.spawn, transform.position, comma, one, although I need an egg power, and it seems like we had a member. I haven't brought that over yet. Okay, so egg power needs to be brought over. Um, and that's a public. We're just going to tweak it. All right, so in the on explode, we're going to spawn based on the egg power. OK, that'll take care of that. And then we need to assign those egg powers um, in the prefabs. So character enemy 2 has an egg power of 2. Sorry, enemy 1. Enemy 2 has an egg power of 3. 
And then enemy three has an egg power of six, which is actually two times three. All right, that should work. Let's run that. Okay, seems right. All right, that's not too terrible. Um, how about the player? When the player gets hit, he's gonna pop out an egg right away. Hmm, all right, well, let's, let's rethink this. Let's take this all into a custom component and see how far we get with that. All right, so for the player, we're gonna need player hit points. Um, uh, I'm thinking I'm going to put that right here. It brings me to something that just always comes up as I'm trying to organize my code into folders a little bit. And I've got this hit points that's not in the characters, but then player hit points. Is that in characters? And, right? I don't know. We'll say it is. Uh, there's never any good answer for this. Okay. That was all of that code. Um, we're back to the same situation again, which is when you get damaged, you can't be damaged again for a certain amount of time. Uh-huh. Um, one option is put the inv invulnerable timer, the imp timer, on the hit points, because we have to block this from happening or we just make a, a unique version of hit points for enemy birds. And what we found is this is really unfortunate. Uh, the original design of having the you know monolithic hierarchy solved this very cleanly. The idea of having a hit point component is not clean at all because now we have a very tight coupling between these individual hit point components and the class that they're related to. Um, really feeling like maybe an interface would have been the way to go on this. Let's try a big old refactor. Let's turn all of this hit points thing into an interface instead. I want a new interface. I hit points. I'm going to put an I on it so that it's not the same as hit points. It goes there. All right, so let's make hit points an interface. Um, and what are we going to have in here? Let's say we're going to take these things. Those will be part of the interface. OK, and I think we'll need the damage function. Okay, uh, and we'll need do we need the explode function even or um, will that be handled by the interface? I figure it I mean it'll be handled by the character at that point, right? I think so. So let's see here. Um, so bullets now. Well, let's do a damage. All right, and then can I ask for a get component for the interface? Can I do that? I don't think I can do that. Maybe I can. 
Okay, uh, it's possible. And then enemy, enemy bird, enemy bird, enemy bird. Where's your enemy bird? Enemy bird will need to implement this interface. Uh, in fact, all birds implement the interface, but they'll do it different. So if it, I hit points and give me. Okay, and uh, what do we do here? This is the enemy bird damage code. Right. What is that? Boop, 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 boop. Okay, and then we don't have a base. Um, that was just this. So we'll just copy that in. And these are all I hit points dot. That, that, and that. And these now are members that need to be moved into, I'm going to say, the bird class. Uh, they were in the hit points class, and we are going to take them instead into the bird class. Let's say hit point. I hit points dot. All right. Okay. Explode. Okay, so that's the enemy. What? Can't you free? Enemy bird isn't is bird. Oh, we don't have, <laughs> we don't have them in a pool yet. We will, but we don't. Okay. Um, in fact, let's just leave myself a note. All right. So where are we at? Bullet M hit type, right? Definition that is in I hit points type now. And what's this? These are I hit points types. Damage return is in, yeah, that's right. Impact also is in I hit points type. All right, and now the only thing that should work right is shooting the enemies. And you make sure I don't bump anything because that's still hooked up. Okay, shooting the enemies did something. Uh, didn't pop the eggs yet though. We want that to pop the eggs. Enemy bird, do you have an egg power? You do. And on explode, we want to call that when the damage says you're dead, right? The damage says you're dead. It's not just explode, it's on explode. Um, I don't need on explode anymore, right? On explode. We're going to give me that. I'm going to put that into explode. Whoa. Okay. 
much cleaner, much, much cleaner. That's what we're going to go with. Um, so we're going to do, we're going to convert everything, multiple inheritance with an interface, and we're just going to drop this component-based hit points idea because that was just not working out. So that means egg hit points has got to go. Hit points has got to go. Let's just delete hit points. And that should cause all kinds of compile errors that will direct me to all the things that I need to fix. Okay, egg hit points just goes, that goes, that behavior is going to be moved into egg. Egg now is an I hit points interface, which means I do already have a damage function on this thing, as I recall. Uh huh. And that's an I hit points damage return. I hit points. I hit points. I hit points. And I believe that means I can now delete this egg. Uh, hit points behavior. Uh, okay, what's next? Player hit points can just go. Um, and all this code will go into the player. Player needs to inherit I hit points. Is there any damage code in here? Damage? No, not yet. So let's go ahead and just do um, this is kind of nice little cheat. You can just say, hey, gimme. Wait, did I did I do it? Yes. I said it just gives you the it gives you the empty function for you to, to copy your code into. Player hit points. That's this thing. I'm going to put that here. This is I hit points dot. And there's no such thing as base damage. It's just the same damage code that we have for everybody else, which is this. Okay, we need an explode function. Mm -hmm. Void explode. Do nothing for now. Egg start and egg finish. And the player hit points object can now go. Okay, it does leave a couple of things that I referred to here in the player that don't exist yet. Uh, what's this? Oh, enemy bird. This is I hit points now. We don't need this anymore. My hit, that's just my hit points. This is my hit points. This is just me. My hit points. My hit points. 
Okay, those are good. Much cleaner, much, much cleaner. There you go, look at that. That's just way better. That is nice. Let's do that one more time. Player can shoot enemies. Player can pick up eggs. Player can run into enemies. Uh, player can shoot eggs. Uh, and that's just a much cleaner way to do it. So we, we explored the idea of the hits um, being a component, like hit points being a component uh, that seemed clean at first, but then when we tried to actually implement it, we saw unique behaviors that were just tightly coupled to their base class. We ended up with just, uh, it was needless, needlessly complex. So instead, we'll go with an interface uh, solution, and that really just cleans it all up nice and neat. All right, let's call that um, today's work. Uh, I wanted to get the HUD in, but the, the refactor of the interface, I think, was much more interesting. So the next time, let's throw in the HUD, the egg HUD. See you the next time.